Hey guys, my name is Joe, and today I will be showing you guys how to install DayZ Mod for Arma 2 without using Steam. So, if you bought Arma 2 Combined Operations, or you have both the games off Steam, this is not the video for you. Uh, right now, a box should appear, and click on that. That'll take you to a video where you can learn how to do it if you have Steam. But this one's for like the people who bought it on Amazon or in other retail stores, okay? So what you guys want to do is you want to go to Firefox, or whatever your preferred internet browser is. I hope it's on Internet Explorer. And you want to go to DayZMod.com. And once you get once you get here, you'll see you know this is the website, and you want to go up to download DayZ at the top left, and you click on that, and then you want to go down to this download DayZ thing, and if you live in the USA, click on USA. If you live in Sweden, or really I think any other part of uh, the world, I think Sweden. If you live in Europe, Sweden is going to be the best one because that one's been on there the longest, so probably the best install times. So you want to click on USA. And then you're going to come up with this. And then probably they update update constantly, so uh, this might be different for you. But anyway, if you have a torrent downloader such as Views or uTorrent, I believe it's called. I use Views. Look at the description. There'll be a uh, a link for that for Views. It's a uh, downloader downloader pretty much for torrents. If you don't have that and you don't want to use a torrent thing, then you wouldn't need to click on each one of these and download it and just save it somewhere in your desktop or uh, somewhere in a folder that you'll remember. Okay, but let's say for now you have a torrent. So same thing, no difference, just download all these and put them somewhere. So you go to click on that and you open it with views. So like here and you click on open and that'll bring up uh, views and then it'll download. I already have it downloaded so I mean it's not gonna be any different so you want to right click on it then go to open file and then you need to have WinRAR I'll also include that down below WinRAR is just uh, uh, it, it compresses files and extra you can extract them and bring the files out file compressor that's all <laughs> so or you can have 7-zip I believe a lot of people use it's all the same thing so you click on the file that it's in and then you'll have DayZ and what you want to do is go ahead and extract this to the desktop I think that'll be easiest for us. So click on extract and then desktop and then OK. And that'll extract everything to your desktop in that folder. And then also I would like to go ahead and say if you're not using the torrent, then this is where you need to, to listen up. So you have your you have your folder that you just extracted. You go to my computer, then you want to go to your C drive, and then you want to go to program files, and then Bohemia Interactive. That's people who make Arma. And you click on Arma 2. And then what you're going to see is you're going to see all of this. This won't be there for you. But what you do is you take that folder we just compressed into the desktop. Or I mean extracted to the desktop. And you drag it in. And what that does, that'll put that in the Arma thing. That's all you have to do. Now, if you didn't download the torrent. So what you want to do is you won't have this and you won't have any of that. You'll have all of those files. And what you want to do is you want to go into this folder and then create a new folder. So you're all done with that. So we have our new folder, and we want to name it at DayZ. Okay, so it's not going to let me create another one. You know, I don't. I just DayZ. DayZ. And then that one, do not put that one in there. Just DayZ, like this one. And then you want to go into here, and then you want to create a new folder and call it add-ons. It has to be spelled like that. And then you want to bring all your files into here, into this folder and you're done. Then exit out of that and you're done. Alright guys, after you put those files in the correct location, what you want to do is you want to go to Arma 2 OA, right click on that and create a shortcut. And then say yes to that. And once you have the shortcut, which is right here for me, you want to go to right click, properties, shortcut. Okay, so under target line, so you see this, target, you want to insert this thing of uh, text. I'll have that in the description. You want to make sure this space is here. I cannot stress that enough. It won't work. So like, I'll actually try it real quick. Show you guys what the message. Is. So if this comes up, that means you don't have a space. So you want to make sure you have a space, and then you're good. So check the line of uh, the description, wherever it is, and put that in there. And then double click on it, and you're done. That's it, guys. You got Daisy installed. If there's any problems, I mean any problems, let me know. I will answer every single question you guys have about this because I know how frustrating it is and I know how it took me so long to figure out because I was putting that in all the wrong folders. But anyways, if this helped you, like it. It makes me feel really good. Uh, favorite if you'd like. You don't have to. You know, we're all friends here. 
thanks for watching guys see you later